A-T-L, G-A Faithful, my people. I'm D. Douglas Carter, back on the scene doing my thing. And I just want to say I appreciate you and the work that you do. Haven't been on here in a while, got a lot of things going on, but I'm still going to try to hit y'all up with something new and something fresh. Um, our Atlanta Hawks. Really, I mean, it's not a must win until it's a must win, but if there's ever anything close to a must win, it will be Monday night, game four. We really desperately need to tie this series up with the Sixers two games apiece before we go back to Philly. My key player for this game, yes, Trey Young needs the ball out. Bogdanovich needs to hit his threes like he's been doing. A little help from Gallo would be nice. Capella's struggling with Embiid. Um, John Collins needs to show up. But my key player is one of the unsung, um, I wouldn't say like unsung hero, but he is sneaky good at every aspect of the game. Defense, passing, shooting, mid-range threes, dunks, Kevin Herter. Kevin Herter. Is the key to victory for me. If Kevin Herter balls out and gives us 15 to 20 points, I think the Hawks take this game.
Now, moving on to our Atlanta Falcons. Life without Julio Jones. We about to see what it's like. Now, can Calvin Ridley step up in that number one spot? I think he can. Can Russell Gage ball out? In that number two spot, hopefully. Kyle Pitts, you know, can he be that red zone threat that we desperately need? I think so. Hayden Hurst, he can contribute. Uh, will Frank Darby jump on the scene and con contribute in a major way? Also, Alama De Zacchaeus, what is he going to do? Mike Davis, we need a strong running back. Quadre Olsen, pair them up and then hit the scat back type. Javian Hawkins, get him in there. Um, I think our offense will be straight. How quickly can Matt Ryan adjust to the new scheme and the receivers adjust to new play calls and the offensive line get solidified? I think Arthur Smith will have the offensive line solidified. I think our run game will be better. I think it will open up play action, and I, I think we'll eat on offense. Um, not having Julio is going to hurt, but, you know, sometimes business just goes like that. Relationships sour, and... Uh, I ain't gonna hate on Julio Jones. He did a lot of awesome things for us. He's getting a little older. Uh, nagging injury is always a problem, but I wish him luck in Tennessee. Unless they play us, then, you know, I think we're gonna have a better record than the Tennessee Titans, but you never know. Derrick Henry is a beast, and uh, Brown and Julio on the outside, they probably gonna eat. Um, Titans losing Janu. Jano, however you say his name, Smith, their tight end. That's going to hurt him a little bit, but we'll see, man. I'm excited for the Atlanta Falcons uh, with or without Julio Jones. Um, our defense should improve with Dean Pease. Um, he's known for his defense, so I'm looking for our defense to be at least 15 or better as their ranking. And, uh, I think we'll see more sacks and more interceptions. Uh, I think our offensive line will be better because Arthur Smith was an offensive lineman. So I think we'll be all right. Uh, I'm really expecting a winning season. I could be wrong, but I always hope for the best. You know, prepare for the worst and hope for the best. So that's what it is on that. Um, hope everybody's doing good out there. Uh, I'm going to end the clip by saying thank God works. And I hope you have a blessed rest of your day or night. One.